after studying this unit you will be able to times 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 know about the discovery of electron, proton and neutron and their characteristics, times 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 describe Thomson, Rutherford and Bohr atomic models, times 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 understand the important features of the quantum mechanical model of atom, times 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 understand nature of electromagnetic radiation and Planck's quantum theory, times 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 explain the photoelectric effect and describe features of atomic spectra, times 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 state the de Broglie relation, and his inward uncertainty principle, Times 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 define an atomic orbital in terms of quantum numbers. Times 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 state of bo principle, Pauli exclusion principle and Hunt's rule of maximum multiplicity. And times 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 write the electronic configurations of atoms. The existence of atoms has been proposed since the time of early Indian and Greek philosophers. 400 bees would ultimately yield atoms which would not be further divisible. The word, atom, has been derived from the Greek word, atomio, which means, uncutable, or, non-divisible. These earlier ideas were mere speculations and there was no way to test them experimentally. These ideas remained dormant for a very long time and were revived again by scientists in the 19th century. The atomic theory of matter was first proposed on a firm scientific basis by John Dalton, a British school teacher in 1808. His theory, called Dalton's atomic theory, regarded the atom as the ultimate particle of matter, Unit 1. Dalton's atomic theory was able to explain the law of conservation of mass, law of constant composition and law of multiple proportion very successfully. However, it failed to explain the results of many experiments, for example, it was known that substances like glass or ebonite when rubbed with silk or fire get electrically charged. In this unit we start with the experimental observations made by scientists towards the end of 19th and beginning of 20th century. These established that atoms are made of subatomic particles, i.e., electrons, protons and neutrons, a concept very different from that of Dalton. Objectives 2019-20 30 Chemistry 2.1 Discovery of subatomic particles and insight into the structure of atom was obtained from the experiments on electrical discharge through gases. Before we discuss these results we need to keep in mind a basic rule regarding the behavior of charged particles, like charges repel each other and unlike charges attract each other. 2nd January 2001 Discovery of Electron In 1830, Michael Faraday showed that if electricity is passed through a solution of an electrolyte, chemical reactions occurred at the electrodes, which resulted in the liberation and deposition of matter at the electrodes. He formulated certain laws which you will study in class 12. These results suggested the particulate nature of electricity. In mid-1850s many scientists mainly Faraday began to study electrical discharge in partially evacuated tubes, known as cathode ray discharge tubes. It is depicted in Fig. 2.1 A cathode ray tube is made of glass containing two thin pieces of metal, called electrodes, sealed in it. The electrical discharge through the gases could be observed only at very low pressures and at very high voltages. The pressure of different gases could be adjusted by evacuation of the glass tubes. When sufficiently high voltage is applied across the electrodes, current starts flowing through a stream of particles moving in the tube from the negative electrode, cathode, 
to the positive electrode, anode. These were called cathode rays or cathode ray particles. The flow of current from cathode to anode was further checked by making a hole in the anode and coating the tube behind anode with phosphorescent material zinc sulfide. When these rays, after passing through anode, strike the zinc sulfide coating, a bright spot is developed on the coating, fig 2.1, b, fig 2.1, a, a cathode ray discharge tube fig. 2.1, b, a cathode ray discharge tube with perforated anode. The results of these experiments are summarized below. i, the cathode rays start from cathode and move towards the anode. 2, these rays themselves are not visible but their behavior can be observed with the help of certain kind of materials, fluorescent or phosphorescent, which glow when hit by them. Television picture tubes are cathode ray tubes and television pictures result due to fluorescence on the television screen coated with certain fluorescent or phosphorescent materials. 3. In the absence of electrical or magnetic field, these rays travel in straight lines, Fig 2.2. 4. In the presence of electrical or magnetic field, the behavior of cathode rays are similar to that expected from negatively charged particles, suggesting that the cathode rays consist of negatively charged particles, called electrons. V. The characteristics of cathode rays, electrons, do not depend upon the 2019 to 20. Thirty-one structure of atom material of electrodes and the nature of the gas present in the cathode ray tube. Thus, we can conclude that electrons are basic constituent of all the atoms. 2nd January 2002 charge to mass ratio of electron in 1897, British physicist J.J. Thomson measured the ratio of electrical charge. To the mass of electron, me, by using cathode ray tube and applying electrical and magnetic field perpendicular to each other as well as to the path of electrons, Fig 2.2. When only electric field is applied, the electrons deviate from their path and hit the cathode ray tube at point A, Fig 2.2. Similarly when only magnetic field is applied, Electron strikes the cathode ray tube at point C. By carefully balancing the electrical and magnetic field strength, it is possible to bring back the electron to the path which is followed in the absence of electric or magnetic field and they hit the screen at point B. Thomson argued that the amount of deviation of the particles from their path in the presence of electrical or magnetic field depends upon I the magnitude of the negative charge on the particle, greater the magnitude of the charge on the particle, greater is the interaction with the electric or magnetic field and thus greater is the deflection. 2. The mass of the particle, lighter the particle, greater the deflection. 3. The strength of the electrical or magnetic field, the deflection of electrons from its original path increases with the increase in the voltage across the electrodes, or the strength of the magnetic field. By carrying out accurate measurements on the amount of deflections observed by the electrons on the electric field strength or magnetic field strength, Thomson was able to determine the value of EMES. EEM is equal to 1.758820 times 1011 ckg1, 2.1, where me is the mass of the electron in kg and E is the magnitude of the charge on the electron in coulomb, C. Since electrons are negatively charged, the charge on electron is E 2nd January 2003 charge on the electron R A millikan, 1868 to 1953 devised a method known as oil drop experiment 1906 to 14 
to determine the charge on the electrons. He found the charge on the electron to be 1.6 times 1019 C. The present accepted value of electrical charge is 1.602176 times 1019 C. The mass of the electron, me, was determined by combining these results with Thomson's value of E me ratio is equal to 9.1094 times 1031 kg, 2.2, fig. 2.2 The apparatus to determine the charge to the mass ratio of electron 2019 to 20. Thirty two Chemistry second January two thousand and four discovery of protons and neutrons electrical discharge carried out in the modified cathode ray tube led to the discovery of canal rays carrying positively charged particles. The characteristics of these positively charged particles are listed below. I unlike cathode rays, Mass of positively charged particles depends upon the nature of gas present in the cathode ray tube. These are simply the positively charged gaseous ions. 2. The charge to mass ratio of the particles depends on the gas from which these originate. 3. Some of the positively charged particles carry a multiple of the fundamental unit of electrical charge. 4. The behavior of these particles in the magnetic or electrical field is opposite to that observed for electron or cathode rays. The smallest and lightest positive ion was obtained from hydrogen and was called proton. This positively charged particle was characterized in 1919. Later, a need was felt for the presence of electrically neutral particle as one of the constituent of atom. These particles were discovered by Chadwick, 1932, by bombarding a thin sheet of beryllium by alpha particles. When electrically neutral particles having a mass slightly greater than that of protons were emitted, he named these particles as neutrons. The important properties of all these fundamental particles are given in Table 2.1. 2.2 Atomic Models Observations obtained from the experiments mentioned in the previous sections have suggested that Dalton's indivisible atom is composed of subatomic particles carrying positive and negative charges. The major problems before the scientists after the discovery of subatomic particles were times 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 to account for the stability of atom times 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 to compare the behavior of elements in terms of both physical and chemical properties, Millikan's oil drop method in this method, all droplets in the form of mist, produced by the atomizer, were allowed to enter through a tiny hole in the upper plate of electrical condenser. The downward motion of these droplets was viewed through the telescope, equipped with a micrometer eyepiece. By measuring the rate of fall of these droplets, Millikan was able to measure the mass of oil droplets. The air inside the chamber was ionized by passing a beam of X-rays through it. The electrical charge on these oil droplets was acquired by collisions with gaseous ions. The fall of these charged oil droplets can be retarded accelerated or made stationary depending upon the charge on the droplets and the polarity and strength of the voltage applied to the plate. By carefully measuring the effects of electrical field strength on the motion of oil droplets, Millikan concluded that the magnitude of electrical charge, Q, on the droplets is always an integral multiple of the electrical charge, E, that is, Q is equal to Ne, where N is equal to 1, 2, 3. Fig. 2.3 The Millikan oil drop apparatus for measuring charge, E. In chamber, the forces acting on oil drop are gravitational, electrostatic due to electrical field and a viscous drag force when the oil drop is moving.
times 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 to explain the formation of different kinds of molecules by the combination of different atoms and times 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 to understand the origin and nature of the characteristics of electromagnetic radiation absorbed or emitted by atoms 2019 to 20 33 structure of atom table 2.1 properties of fundamental particles different atomic models were proposed to explain the distributions of these charged particles in an atom although some of these models were not able to explain the stability of atoms two of these models one proposed by jj thompson and the other proposed by ernest rutherford are discussed below 2nd February 2001 Thomson model of atom J.J. Thomson, in 1898, proposed that an atom possesses a spherical shape, radius approximately 1010 m, in which the positive charge is uniformly distributed. The electrons are embedded into it in such a manner as to give the most stable electrostatic arrangement, Fig 2.4. Many different names are given to this model, for example, plum pudding, raisin pudding or watermelon. This model can be in the later half of the 19th century different kinds of rays were discovered, besides those mentioned earlier. Wilhelm Röntgen, 1845-1923, in 1800. And 95 showed that when electrons strike a material in the cathode ray tubes, produce rays which can cause fluorescence in the fluorescent materials placed outside the cathode ray tubes. Since Roentgen did not know the nature of the radiation, he named them X-rays and the name is still carried on. It was noticed that X-rays are produced effectively when electrons strike the dense metal anode called targets. These are not deflected by the electric and magnetic fields and have a very high penetrating power through the matter and that is the reason that these rays are used to study the interior of the objects. These rays are of very short wavelengths, 0.1 nm, and possess electromagnetic character, section 2nd March 2001. Henry Becquerel, 1852-198, observed that there are certain elements which emit radiation on their own and named this phenomenon as radioactivity and the elements known as radioactive elements. This field was developed by Marie Curie, Pierre Curie, Rutherford and Frederick Soddy. It was observed that three kinds of rays i.e., alpha, beta and gamma rays are emitted. Rutherford found that alpha rays consists of high energy particles carrying two units of positive charge and four units of atomic mass. He concluded that alpha particles are helium fig.2.4 Thomson model of atom visualized as a pudding or watermelon of positive charge with plums or seeds, electrons, embedded into it. An important feature of this model is that the mass of the atom is assumed to be uniformly distributed over the atom. Although this model was able to explain the overall neutrality of the atom, but was not consistent with the results of later experiments. Thomson was awarded Nobel Prize for Physics in 1906 for his theoretical and experimental investigations on the conduction of electricity by gases. Electron E1.602176 times 10191910938 times 10310.000540 proton P plus 1.602176 times 1019 plus 11.672216 times 1027 1.007271 neutron N001.674927 Times 10 27 1.008671 1 name symbol absolute relative mass kg mass u approx charge c charge mass u 2019 to 20.
34 chemistry nuclei as when alpha particles combined with two electrons yielded helium gas. Beta rays are negatively charged particles similar to electrons. The gamma rays are high energy radiations like X rays, are neutral in nature and do not consist of particles. As regards penetrating power, alpha particles are the least, followed by beta rays, 100 times that of alpha particles, and gamma rays, 1000 times of that alpha particles. 2nd February 2002 Rutherford's nuclear model of atom Rutherford and his students, Hans Geiger and Ernest Marsden, bombarded very thin gold foil with alpha particles. Rutherford's famous alpha 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 particle scattering experiment is represented in fig. 2.5 A stream of high-energy alpha particles from a radioactive source was directed at a thin foil, thickness 100 nm, of gold metal. The thin gold foil had a circular fluorescent zinc sulfide screen around it. Whenever alpha particles struck the screen, a tiny flash of light was produced at that point. The results of scattering experiment were quite unexpected. According to Thomson model of atom, the mass of each gold atom in the foil should have been spread evenly over the entire atom, and alpha particles had enough energy to pass directly through such a uniform distribution of mass. It was expected that the particles would slow down and change directions only by a small angles as they passed through the foil. It was observed that, I, most of the alpha particles passed through the gold foil undeflected. 2. A small fraction of the alpha particles was deflected by small angles. 3. A very few alpha particles, 1 in 20,000, bounced back, that is, were deflected by nearly 180 degrees. On the basis of the observations, Rutherford drew the following conclusions regarding the structure of atom, I, most of the space in the atom is empty as most of the alpha particles passed through the foil undeflected. 2. A few positively charged alpha particles were deflected. The deflection must be due to enormous repulsive force showing that the positive charge of the atom is not spread throughout the atom as Thomson had presumed. The positive charge has to be concentrated in a very small volume that repelled and deflected the positively charged alpha particles. 3. Calculations by Rutherford showed that the volume occupied by the nucleus is negligibly small as compared to the total volume of the atom. The radius of the atom is about 1010 m while that of nucleus is 1015 m one can appreciate this difference in size by realizing that if fig 2.5 schematic view of rutherford's scattering experiment when a beam of alpha alpha particles is shot at a thin gold foil most of them pass through without much effect some however are deflected a Rutherford's scattering experiment B schematic molecular view of the gold foil 2019 to 20. Thirty five structure of atom a cricket ball represents a nucleus. Then the radius of atom would be about five kilometers. On the basis of above observations and conclusions. Rutherford proposed the nuclear model of atom. According to this model, I, the positive charge and most of the mass of the atom was densely concentrated in extremely small region. This very small portion of the atom was called nucleus by Rutherford. 2. The nucleus is surrounded by electrons that move around the nucleus with a very high speed in circular paths called orbits. Thus, Rutherford's model of atom resembles the solar system in which the nucleus plays the role of sun and the electrons that of revolving planets. 3. 
electrons and the nucleus are held together by electrostatic forces of attraction. 2nd February 2003 Atomic number and mass number The presence of positive charge on the nucleus is due to the protons in the nucleus. As established earlier, the charge on the proton is equal but opposite to that of electron. The number of protons present in the nucleus is equal to atomic number, Z. For example, the number of protons in the hydrogen nucleus is 1, in sodium atom it is 11, therefore their atomic numbers are 1 and 11 respectively. In order to keep the electrical neutrality, the number of electrons in an atom is equal to the number of protons, atomic number, Z. For example, number of electrons in hydrogen atom and sodium atom are 1 and 11 respectively. Atomic number, Z, is equal to number of protons in the nucleus of an atom is equal to number of electrons in a neutral atom, 2.3. While the positive charge of the nucleus is due to protons, the mass of the nucleus, due to protons and neutrons. As discussed earlier protons and neutrons present in the nucleus are collectively known as nucleons. The total number of nucleons is termed as mass number, A, of the atom. Mass number, A, is equal to number of protons, Z, plus number of neutrons, N, 2.4. 2nd February 2004 Isobars and isotopes The composition of any atom can be represented by using the normal element symbol, X, with superscript on the left-hand side as the atomic mass number, A, and subscript, Z, on the left-hand side as the atomic number, I, AZX. Isobars are the atoms with same mass number but different atomic number for example, 614C and 714N. On the other hand, atoms with identical atomic number but different atomic mass number are known as isotopes. In other words, according to equation 2.4, it is evident that difference between the isotopes is due to the presence of different number of neutrons present in the nucleus. For example, considering of hydrogen atom again, 99.985% of hydrogen atoms contain only one proton. This isotope is called protium, 11H. Rest of the percentage of hydrogen atom contains two other isotopes, the one containing one proton and one neutron is called deuterium, 12D 0.015%, and the other one possessing one proton and two neutrons is called tritium, 13T. The latter isotope is found in trace amounts on the Earth. Other examples of commonly occurring isotopes are, Carbon atoms containing 6, 7 and 8 neutrons besides 6 protons, 6 12 June 2013 6 14 C, 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 chlorine atoms containing 18 and 20 neutrons besides 17 protons, 17 35 17 3 7 close close. Lastly an important point to mention regarding isotopes is that chemical properties of atoms are controlled by the number of electrons, which are determined by the number of protons in the nucleus. Number of neutrons present in the nucleus have very little effect on the chemical properties of an element. Therefore, all the isotopes of a given element show same chemical behavior. 2019 to 20. Thirty six chemistry problem two point one calculate the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in thirty five ATBR solution. In this case, thirty five ATBR Z is equal to thirty five A is equal to eighty 
species is neutral number of protons is equal to number of electrons is equal to z is equal to 35 number of neutrons is equal to 80 35 is equal to 45 equation 2.4 problem 2.2 the number of electrons protons and neutrons in a species are equal to 18 16 and 16 respectively assign the proper symbol to the species Solution The atomic number is equal to number of protons is equal to 16. The element is sulfur, S. Atomic mass number is equal to number of protons plus number of neutrons is equal to 16 plus 16 is equal to 32 species is not neutral as the number of protons is not equal to electrons. It is an ion, negatively charged with charge equal to excess electrons is equal to 18 16 is equal to 2 symbol is 32 to 16 s note before using the notation a z x find out whether the species is a neutral atom a cation or an anion if it is a neutral atom equation 2.3 is valid i Number of protons is equal to number of electrons is equal to atomic number. If the species is an ion, determine whether the number of protons are larger, cation, positive ion, or smaller, anion, negative ion, than the number of electrons. Number of neutrons is always given by a z, whether the species is neutral or ion. 2nd February 2005 Drawbacks of Rutherford Model As you have learned above, Rutherford nuclear model of an atom is like a small-scale solar system with the nucleus playing the role of the asterisk Classical mechanics is a theoretical science based on Newton's laws of motion. It specifies the laws of motion of macroscopic objects massive sun and the electrons being similar to the lighter planets when classical mechanics asterisk is applied to the solar system it shows that the planets describe well-defined orbits around the sun the gravitational force between the planets is given by the expression g12 2 millimeters r where m1 and m2 are the masses R is the distance of separation of the masses and G is the gravitational constant. The theory can also calculate precisely the planetary orbits and these are in agreement with the experimental measurements. The similarity between the solar system and nuclear model suggests that electrons should move around the nucleus in well-defined orbits. Further, the Coulomb force KQ1 Q2 R2 where Q1 and Q2 are the charges, R is the distance of separation of the charges and K is the proportionality constant, between electron and the nucleus is mathematically similar to the gravitational force. However, when a body is moving in an orbit, it undergoes acceleration even if it is moving with a constant speed in an orbit because of changing direction. So an electron in the nuclear model describing planet-like orbits is under acceleration. According to the electromagnetic theory of Maxwell, charged particles when accelerated should emit electromagnetic radiation. This feature does not exist for planets since they are uncharged. Therefore, an electron in an orbit will emit radiation. The energy carried by radiation comes from electronic motion. The orbit will thus continue to shrink. Calculations show that it should take an electron only 10 8s to spiral into the nucleus. But this does not happen. Thus, the Rutherford model cannot explain the stability of an atom. If the motion of an electron is described on the basis of the classical mechanics and electromagnetic theory, you may ask that since the motion of electrons in orbits is leading to the instability of the atom, then why not consider electrons as stationary 2019-20? Thirty-seven structure of atom around the nucleus. 
If the electrons were stationary, electrostatic attraction between the dense nucleus and the electrons would pull the electrons toward the nucleus to form a miniature version of Thomson's model of atom. Another serious drawback of the Rutherford model is that it says nothing about distribution of the electrons around the nucleus and the energies of these electrons. 2.3 Developments leading to the Bohr's model of atom historically Results observed from the studies of interactions of radiations with matter have provided immense information regarding the structure of atoms and molecules. Niels Bohr utilized these results to improve upon the model proposed by Rutherford. Two developments played a major role in the formulation of Bohr's model of atom. These were, I, dual character of the electromagnetic radiation which means that radiations possess both wave-like and particle-like properties, and, two, experimental results regarding atomic spectra. First. We will discuss about the dual nature of electromagnetic radiations. Experimental results regarding atomic spectra will be discussed in section 2.4. Second March 2001 Wave nature of electromagnetic radiation in the mid-19th century. Physicists actively studied absorption and emission of radiation by heated objects. These are called thermal radiations. They tried to find out of what the thermal radiation is made. It is now a well-known fact that thermal radiations consist of electromagnetic waves of various frequencies or wavelengths. It is based on a number of modern concepts, which were unknown in the mid-19th century. First active study of thermal radiation laws occurred in the 1850s and the theory of electromagnetic waves and the emission of such waves by accelerating charged particles was developed in the early 1870s by James Clerk Maxwell, which was experimentally confirmed later by Heinrich Hertz. Here, we will learn some facts about electromagnetic radiations. James Maxwell, 1870, was the first to give a comprehensive explanation about the interaction between the charged bodies and the behavior of electrical and magnetic fields on macroscopic level. He suggested that when electrically charged particle moves under acceleration, alternating electrical and magnetic fields are produced and transmitted. These fields are transmitted in the forms of waves called electromagnetic waves or electromagnetic radiation. Light is the form of radiation known from early days and speculation about its nature dates back to remote ancient times. In earlier days, Newton, light was supposed to be made of particles, corpuscules. It was only in the 19th century when wave nature of light was established. Maxwell was again the first to reveal that light waves are associated with oscillating electric and magnetic character, Fig 2.6. Although electromagnetic wave motion is complex in nature, we will consider here only a few simple properties. I. The oscillating electric and magnetic fields produced by oscillating charged particles Fig.2.6 The electric and magnetic field components of an electromagnetic wave. These components have the same wavelength, frequency, speed and amplitude, but they vibrate in two mutually perpendicular planes. 2019-20 38 chemistry are perpendicular to each other and both are perpendicular to the direction of propagation of the wave. Simplified picture of electromagnetic wave is shown in Fig. 2.6, 2. Unlike sound waves or waves produced in water, electromagnetic waves do not require medium and can move in vacuum. 3. It is now well established that there are many types of electromagnetic radiations, which differ from one another in wavelength, or frequency. 
These constitute what is called electromagnetic spectrum, FIG 2.7. Different regions of the spectrum are identified by different names. Some examples are radio frequency region around 106 Hz, used for broadcasting, microwave region around 1010 Hz, used for radar. Infrared region around 1013 Hz used for heating, ultraviolet region around 1016 Hz a component of sun's radiation. The small portion around 1015 Hz is what is ordinarily called visible light. It is only this part which our eyes can see or detect. Special instruments are required to detect non-visible radiation. Fig. 2.7 A. The spectrum of electromagnetic radiation. B. Visible spectrum. The visible region is only a small part of the entire spectrum. 4. Different kinds of units are used to represent electromagnetic radiation. These radiations are characterized by the properties, namely, frequency, nu, and wavelength, lambda. The psi unit for frequency, nu, is hertz, hertz, s1, after Heinrich hertz. It is defined as the number of waves that pass a given point in one second. Wavelength should have the units of length and as you know that the psi units of length is meter, m. Since electromagnetic radiation consists of different kinds of waves of much smaller wavelengths, Smaller units are used. Fig.2.7 shows various types of electromagnetic radiations which differ from one another in wavelengths and frequencies. In vacuum all types of electromagnetic radiations, regardless of wavelength, travel at the same speed, i.e., 3.0 times 108 ms1. 2.997925 times 108 ms1, to be precise. This is called speed of light and is given the symbol, C. The frequency, nu, wavelength, lambda, and velocity of light, C, are related by the equation, 2.5. C is equal to nu lambda, 2.5, A, B, New 2019 to 20. Thirty-nine structure of atom. The other commonly used quantity, especially in spectroscopy, is the wave number. It is defined as the number of wavelengths per unit length. Its units are reciprocal of wavelength unit, i.e., m1. However, commonly used unit is cm1 not psi unit. Problem 2.3 The Vivid Bharti station of All India Radio, Delhi, broadcasts on a frequency of 1368 kHz, kHz. Calculate the wavelength of the electromagnetic radiation emitted by transmitter. Which part of the electromagnetic spectrum does it belong to? Solution The wavelength, lambda, is equal to C nu, where C is the speed of electromagnetic radiation in vacuum and nu is the frequency. Substituting the given values, we have lambda is equal to C V. This is a characteristic radio wave wavelength. Problem 2.4 The wavelength range of the visible spectrum extends from violet, 400 nm, to red, 750 nm. Express these wavelengths in frequencies, hertz. 1 nm is equal to 10 9 m. Solution using equation 2.5. Frequency of violet light is equal to 7.50 by 1014 hertz. Asterisk diffraction is the bending of wave around an obstacle. Asterisk asterisk interference is the combination of two waves of the same or different frequencies to give a wave whose distribution at each point in space is the algebraic or vector sum of disturbances at that point resulting from each interfering wave. 
frequency of red light nu is equal to is equal to 4.00 by 1014 hertz the range of visible spectrum is from 4.0 times 1014 to 7.5 by 1014 hertz in terms of frequency units problem 2.5 calculate a wave number and b Frequency of yellow radiation having wavelength 5800 A solution. A. Calculation of wave number. Lambda is equal to 5800A is equal to 5800 times 108 cm is equal to 5800 times 1010 m. B. Calculation of the frequency. New. 2nd March 2002 Particle Nature of Electromagnetic Radiation Planck's Quantum Theory Some of the experimental phenomena such as diffraction asterisk and interference asterisk asterisk can be explained by the wave nature of the electromagnetic radiation. However, following are some of the observations which could not be explained with the help of even the electromagnetic theory of 19th century physics known as classical physics i the nature of emission of radiation from hot bodies black body radiation 2 ejection of electrons from metal surface when radiation strikes it photoelectric effect 3 Variation of heat capacity of solids as a function of temperature 2019 to 20. 40 Chemistry 4. Line spectra of atoms with special reference to hydrogen. These phenomena indicate that the system can take energy only in discrete amounts. All possible energies cannot be taken up or radiated. It is noteworthy that the first concrete explanation for the phenomenon of the black body radiation mentioned above was given by Max Planck in 1900. Let us first try to understand this phenomenon, which is given below. Hot objects emit electromagnetic radiations over a wide range of wavelengths. At high temperatures, an appreciable proportion of radiation is in the visible region of the spectrum. As the temperature is raised, a higher proportion of short wavelength, blue light, is generated. For example, when an iron rod is heated in a furnace, it first turns to dull red and then progressively becomes more and more red as the temperature increases. As this is heated further, the radiation emitted becomes white and then becomes blue as the temperature becomes very high. This means that red radiation is most intense at a particular temperature and the blue radiation is more intense at another temperature. This means intensities of radiations of different wavelengths emitted by hot body depend upon its temperature. By late 1850s it was known that objects made of different material and kept at different temperatures emit different amount of radiation. Also when the surface of an object is irradiated with light, electromagnetic radiation, a part of radiant energy is generally reflected as such, a part is absorbed and a part of it is transmitted. The reason for incomplete absorption is that ordinary objects are as a rule imperfect absorbers of radiation. An ideal body which emits and absorbs radiations of all frequencies uniformly is called a black body and the radiation emitted by such a body is called black body radiation. In practice, no such body exists. Carbon black approximates fairly closely to black body. A good physical approximation to a black body is a cavity with a tiny hole, which has no other opening. Any ray entering the hole will be reflected by the cavity walls and will be eventually absorbed by the walls. A black body is also a perfect radiator of radiant energy. Furthermore, a black body is in thermal equilibrium with its surroundings. It radiates same amount of energy per unit area as it absorbs from its surrounding in any given time. The amount of light emitted, intensity of radiation, 
from a black body and its spectral distribution depends only on its temperature. At a given temperature, intensity of radiation emitted increases with the increase of wavelength, reaches a maximum value at a given wavelength and then starts decreasing with further increase of wavelength, as shown in Fig. 2.8 also, as the temperature increases, maxima of the curve shifts to short wavelength. Several attempts were made to predict the intensity of radiation as a function of wavelength. But the results of the above experiment could not be explained satisfactorily on the basis of the wave theory of light. Max Planck Fig. 2.8, A, Black Body Fig. 2.8 Wavelength Intensity Relationship 2019-20Forty one structure of atom arrived at a satisfactory relationship by making an assumption that absorption and emission of radiation arises from oscillator i.e., atoms in the wall of black body. Their frequency of oscillation is changed by interaction with oscillators of electromagnetic radiation. Planck assumed that radiation could be subdivided into discrete chunks of energy. He suggested that atoms and molecules could emit or absorb energy only in discrete quantities and not in a continuous manner. He gave the name quantum to the smallest quantity of energy that can be emitted or absorbed in the form of electromagnetic radiation. The energy, E, of a quantum of radiation is proportional to its frequency, nu, and is expressed by equation. 2.6. E is equal to h u epsilon. 2.6. The proportionality constant, h, is known as Planck's constant and has the value 6.626 times 1034 js. With this theory, Planck was able to explain the distribution of intensity in the radiation from black body as a function of frequency or wavelength at different temperatures. Quantization has been compared to standing on a staircase. A person can stand on any step of a staircase, but it is not possible for him or her to stand in between the two steps. The energy can take any one of the values from the following set, but cannot take on any values between them. E is equal to 0, h u epsilon, 2 h u epsilon, 3 h u epsilon, n h u epsilon. Photoelectric effect in 1887, H. Hertz performed a very interesting experiment in which electrons, or electric current, were ejected when certain metals, for example potassium, rubidium, cesium etc., were exposed to a beam of light as shown in Fig.2.9. The phenomenon is called photoelectric effect. The results observed in this experiment were, i, the electrons are ejected from the metal surface as soon as the beam of light strikes the surface, i, there is no time lag between the striking of light beam and the ejection of electrons from the metal surface. 2. The number of electrons ejected is proportional to the intensity or brightness of light. 3. For each metal, there is a characteristic minimum frequency, nu0, also known as threshold frequency, below which photoelectric effect is not observed. At a frequency nu, nu0, the ejected electrons come out with certain kinetic energy. The kinetic energies of these electrons increase with the increase of frequency of the light used. All the above results could not be explained on the basis of laws of classical physics. According to latter, the energy content of the beam of light depends upon the brightness of the light. In other words, number of electrons ejected and kinetic energy associated with them should depend on the brightness of light. It has been observed that though the number of electrons ejected does depend upon the brightness of light, 
the kinetic energy of the Fig.2.9 equipment for studying the photoelectric effect. Light of a particular frequency strikes a clean metal surface inside a vacuum chamber. Electrons are ejected from the metal and are counted by a detector that measures their kinetic energy. Max Planck, 1858-1947, Max Planck, a German physicist, received his Ph.D. in theoretical physics from the University of Munich in 1879. In 1888, he was appointed director of the Institute of Theoretical Physics at the University of Berlin. Planck was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1918 for his quantum theory. Planck also made significant contributions in thermodynamics and other areas of physics. 2019-20 42 Chemistry ejected electrons does not. For example, red light, nu is equal to 4.324.6 times 1014 Hz of any brightness, intensity, may shine on a piece of potassium metal for hours but no photoelectrons are ejected. But, as soon as even a very weak yellow light, nu is equal to 5.15.2 times 1014 Hz, shines on the potassium metal, the photoelectric effect is observed. The threshold frequency, nu zero, for potassium metal is 5.0 by 1014 Hz. Einstein, 1905, was able to explain the photoelectric effect using Planck's quantum theory of electromagnetic radiation as a starting point. Minimum energy required to eject the electron is H0, also called work function, W0, table 2.2, then the difference in energy. H nu H nu 0 is transferred as the kinetic energy of the photoelectron. Following the conservation of energy principle, the kinetic energy of the ejected electron is given by the equation 2.7. 2.7, where mi is the mass of the electron and v is the velocity associated with the ejected electron. Lastly, a more intense beam of light consists of larger number of photons, consequently the number of electrons ejected is also larger as compared to that in an experiment in which a beam of weaker intensity of light is employed. Dual behavior of electromagnetic radiation The particle nature of light posed a dilemma for scientists. On the one hand, it could explain the black body radiation and photoelectric effect satisfactorily but on the other hand, it was not consistent with the known wave behavior of light which could account for the phenomena of interference and diffraction. The only way to resolve the dilemma was to accept the idea that light possesses both particle and wave-like properties, i.e., light has dual behavior. Depending on the experiment, we find that light behaves either as a wave or as a stream of particles. Whenever radiation interacts with matter, it displays particle-like properties in contrast to the wave-like properties, interference and diffraction, which it exhibits when it propagates. This concept was totally alien to the way the scientists thought about matter and radiation and it took them a long time to become convinced of its validity. It turns out, as you shall see later, that some microscopic particles like electrons also exhibit this wave-particle duality. See colon backslash chemistry 11 backslash unit 2 backslash unit 2, 2, lay 3, reprint, dot pmd 27th July 2006, 16th October 2006, reprint, Albert Einstein, a German-born American physicist, is regarded by many as one of the two great physicists the world has known, the other is Isaac Newton. His three research papers, 
on special relativity, Brownian motion and the photoelectric effect, which he published in 1905, Albert Einstein, 1879-1955, while he was employed as a technical assistant in a Swiss patent office in Bern have profoundly influenced the development of physics. He received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1921 for his explanation of the photoelectric effect. Shining a beam of light onto a metal surface can, therefore, be viewed as shooting a beam of particles, the photons. When a photon of sufficient energy strikes an electron in the atom of the metal, it transfers its energy instantaneously to the electron during the collision and the electron is ejected without any time lag or delay. Greater the energy possessed by the photon, greater will be transfer of energy to the electron and greater the kinetic energy of the ejected electron. In other words, kinetic energy of the ejected electron is proportional to the frequency of the electromagnetic radiation. Since the striking photon has energy equal to h nu and the metal linear kmg co w 0 ev 2.422.32.253.74.84.3 table 2.2 values of work function, w0, for a few metals 2019 to 20. Forty three structure of atom problem two point six calculate energy of one mole of photons of radiation whose frequency is five by one thousand and fourteen hertz solution energy E of one photon is given by the expression E is equal to H nu H is equal to six point six two six times ten thirty four J S nu is equal to five times one zero one four S one given E is equal to 6.626 times 1034 js times 5 times 1014 s1 is equal to 3.313 times 1019 j energy of one mole of photons is equal to 3.313 times 1019 j times 6.022 times 1023 mole 1 is equal to 199.51 kJ mol 1 problem 2.7 a 100 watt bulb emits monochromatic light of wavelength 400 nm. Calculate the number of photons emitted per second by the bulb. Solution power of the bulb is equal to 100 watt is equal to 100 J S1 energy of 1 photon E is equal to H nu is equal to H C lambda is equal to 6.62610 J S3 10 M S3481 times 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 410 9 M is equal to 4.969 times 10 to 19 J number of photons emitted 104 916 9 10 2012 10th January 2019 21 JS JS times is equal to times. Problem 2.8 When electromagnetic radiation of wavelength 300 nm falls on the surface of sodium, electrons are emitted with a kinetic energy of 1.68 times 105 J mol 1. What is the minimum energy needed to remove an electron from sodium? What is the maximum wavelength that will cause a photoelectron to be emitted? Solution The energy, E, of a 300 nm photon is given by is equal to 6.626 times 10 to 19 j. The energy of 1 mole of photons is equal to 6.626 times 10 19 j times 6.022 times 1023 mole 1 is equal to 3.99 times 100 and 5 j mol 1 the minimum energy needed to remove 1 mole of electrons from sodium is equal to 3.991.68 
105 j mol 1 is equal to 2.31 times 105 j mol 1 the minimum energy for one electron this corresponds to the wavelength times 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 lambda is equal to c is equal to 6.626 j s 3.010 m s 3.84 j 34 8th january 2019 h e is equal to 517 n m this corresponds to green light problem 2.9 the threshold frequency nu 0 for a metal is 7.0 times 1014 s1 calculate the kinetic energy of an electron emitted when radiation of frequency nu is equal to 1.0 times 1015 s1 hits the metal Solution according to Einstein's equation kinetic energy is equal to a half mev 2 is equal to h nu nu 0 is equal to 6.626 times 1034 j s 1.0 times 1015 s 17.0 times 1014 s 1 is equal to 6.626 times 1034 j s 10.0 times 1014 s 17 17.0 times 1014 s 1 is equal to 6.626 times 1034 j s times 3.0 times 1014 s 1 is equal to 1.988 times 1019 j 2019 to 20. Forty four Chemistry, second March two thousand and three. Evidence for the quantized asterisk electronic energy levels. Atomic spectra the speed of light depends upon the nature of the medium through which it passes. As a result, the beam of light is deviated or refracted from its original path as it passes from one medium to another. It is observed that when a ray of white light is passed through a prism, the wave with shorter wavelength bends more than the one with a longer wavelength. Since ordinary white light consists of waves with all the wavelengths in the visible range, a ray of white light is spread out into a series of colored bands called spectrum. The light of red color which has longest wavelength is deviated the least while the violet light, which has shortest wavelength is deviated the most. The spectrum of white light, that we can see, ranges from violet at 7.50 by 1014 Hz to red at 4 by 1014 Hz. Such a spectrum is called continuous spectrum. Continuous because violet merges into blue, blue into green and so on. A similar spectrum is produced when a rainbow forms in the sky. Remember that visible light is just a small portion of the electromagnetic radiation, Fig.2.7. When electromagnetic radiation interacts with matter, atoms and molecules may absorb energy and reach to a higher energy state. With higher energy, these are in an unstable state. For returning to their normal, more stable, lower energy states, energy state, the atoms and molecules emit radiations in various regions of the electromagnetic spectrum. Emission and absorption spectra The spectrum of radiation emitted by a substance that has absorbed energy is called an emission spectrum. Atoms, molecules or ions that have absorbed radiation are said to be excited. To produce an emission spectrum, Energy is supplied to a sample by heating it or irradiating it and the wavelength, or frequency, of the radiation emitted, as the sample gives up the absorbed energy, is recorded. An absorption spectrum is like the photographic negative of an emission spectrum. A continuum of radiation is passed through a sample which absorbs radiation of certain wavelengths. The missing wavelength which corresponds to the radiation absorbed by the matter, leave dark spaces in the bright continuous spectrum. The study of emission or absorption spectra is referred to as spectroscopy.
the spectrum of the visible light, as discussed above, was continuous as all wavelengths, red to violet, of the visible light are represented in the spectra. The emission spectra of atoms in the gas phase, on the other hand, do not show a continuous spread of wavelength from red to violet, rather they emit light only at specific wavelengths with dark spaces between them. Such spectra are called line spectra or atomic spectra because the emitted radiation is identified by the appearance of bright lines in the spectra. Fig 2.10 page 45 Line emission spectra are of great interest in the study of electronic structure. Each element has a unique line emission spectrum. The characteristic lines in atomic spectra can be used in chemical analysis to identify unknown atoms in the same way as fingerprints are used to identify people. The exact matching of lines of the emission spectrum of the atoms of a known element with the lines from an unknown sample quickly establishes the identity of the latter. German chemist, Robert Bunsen, 1811-1899, was one of the first investigators to use line spectra to identify elements. Elements like rubidium, Rb, cesium, Cas, thallium, Tl, indium, in, gallium, Ga, and scandium, Sc, were discovered when their minerals were analyzed by spectroscopic methods. The element helium, He, was discovered in the sun by spectroscopic method. Line spectrum of hydrogen when an electric discharge is passed through gaseous hydrogen, the H2 molecules dissociate and the energetically excited hydrogen atoms produced emit electromagnetic radiation of discrete frequencies. The hydrogen spectrum consists of several series of lines named after their discoverers. Balmer showed in 1885 on the basis of experimental observations that if asterisk the restriction of any property to discrete values is called quantization. 2019-20forty-five structure of atom spectral lines are expressed in terms of wave number. Then the visible lines of the hydrogen spectrum obey the following formula 2.8, where n is an integer equal to or greater than 3, i.e., n is equal to 345. The series of lines described by this formula are called the Balmer series. The Balmer series of lines are the only lines in the hydrogen spectrum which appear in the visible region of the electromagnetic spectrum. The Swedish spectroscopist, Johannes Rydberg, noted that all series of lines in the hydrogen spectrum could be described by the following expression, 2.9, where n1 is equal to 1 2, n2 is equal to n1 plus 1, n1 plus 2. The value 109,677 cm1 is called the Rydberg constant for hydrogen. The first five series of lines that correspond to N1 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are known as Lehman, Balmer, Pushchin, Bracket and Pfund series, respectively. Table 2.3 shows these series of transitions in the hydrogen spectrum. Fig 2.11, page 46, shows the Lehman. Balmer and Pushchin series of transitions for hydrogen atom. Of all the elements, hydrogen atom has the simplest line spectrum. Line spectrum becomes A, B, Fig. 2.10, A, Atomic Emission. The light emitted by a sample of excited hydrogen atoms, or any other element, can be passed through a prism and separated into certain discrete wavelengths. Thus an emission spectrum, which is a photographic recording of the separated wavelengths is called as line spectrum. Any sample of reasonable size contains an enormous number of atoms. Although a single atom can be in only one excited state at a time, 
the collection of atoms contains all possible excited states. The light emitted as these atoms fall to lower energy states is responsible for the spectrum. b. Atomic absorption. When white light is passed through unexcited atomic hydrogen and then through a slit and prism, the transmitted light is lacking in intensity at the same wavelengths as are emitted in a. The recorded absorption spectrum is also a line spectrum and the photographic negative of the emission spectrum. Table 2.3 The spectral lines for atomic hydrogen 2019-20 46 chemistry more and more complex for heavier atom. There are, however, certain features which are common to all line spectra, i.e., i, line spectrum of element is unique and, 2, there is regularity in the line spectrum of each element. The questions which arise are, what are the reasons for these similarities? Is it something to do with the electronic structure of atoms? These are the questions need to be answered. We shall find later that the answers to these questions provide the key in understanding electronic structure of these elements. 2.4 Bohr's model for hydrogen atom Nails Bohr, 1913, was the first to explain quantitatively the general features of the structure of hydrogen atom and its spectrum. He used Planck's concept of quantization of energy. Though the theory is not the modern quantum mechanics, it can still be used to fig. 2.11 Transitions of the electron in the hydrogen atom, the diagram shows the Lehman, Bama and Pushchin series of transitions, rationalize many points in the atomic structure and spectra. Bohr's model for hydrogen atom is based on the following postulates, i. The electron in the hydrogen atom can move around the nucleus in a circular path of fixed radius and energy. These paths are called orbits, stationary states or allowed energy states. These orbits are arranged concentrically around the nucleus. 2. The energy of an electron in the orbit does not change with time. However, the electron will move from a lower stationary state to a higher stationary state when required amount of energy is absorbed by the electron or energy is emitted when electron moves from higher stationary state to lower stationary state. Equation 2.16 the energy change does not take place in a continuous manner. Angular momentum just as linear momentum is the product of mass, m, and linear velocity, v. Angular momentum is the product of moment of inertia, i, and angular velocity, omega. For an electron of mass m, moving in a circular path of radius r around the nucleus, Angular momentum is equal to I times omega since I is equal to m2, and omega is equal to Vr where V is the linear velocity. Angular momentum is equal to m2 times Vr is equal to m3. The frequency of radiation absorbed or emitted when transition occurs between two stationary states that differ in energy by E is given by Nu is equal to is equal to EH EH21 2.10, where E1 and E2 are the energies of the lower and higher allowed energy states respectively. This expression is commonly known as Bohr's frequency rule. 4. The angular momentum of an electron is quantized. In a given stationary state it can be expressed as in equation 2.11. MRNH EV is equal to 2 pi N is equal to 1 2 3 2.11 2019 to 20 47 structure of atom where me is the mass of electron V is the velocity and R is the radius of the orbit in which electron is moving Thus an electron can move only in those orbits for which its angular momentum is integral multiple of h2 pi. 
that means angular momentum is quantized. Radiation is emitted or absorbed only when transition of electron takes place from one quantized value of angular momentum to another. Therefore, Maxwell's electromagnetic theory does not apply here that is why only certain fixed orbits are allowed. The details regarding the derivation of energies of the stationary states used by Bohr are quite complicated and will be discussed in higher classes. However, according to Bohr's theory for hydrogen atom, the stationary states for electron are numbered n is equal to 1 2 3. These integral numbers, section 2nd June 2002, are known as principal quantum numbers. b. The ready of the stationary states are expressed as Rn is equal to n to a 0, 2.12, where a 0 is equal to 52.9 pm. Thus the radius of the first stationary state, called the Bohr orbit, is 52.9 pm. Normally the electron in the hydrogen atom is found in this orbit, that is n is equal to 1. As n increases the value of R will increase. In other words the electron will be present away from the nucleus. C. The most important property associated with the electron is the energy of its stationary state. It is given by the expression En nh is equal to R12 n is equal to 123 2.13 where Rh is called Rydberg constant and its value is 2.18 times 1018 j. The energy of the lowest state also called as the ground state is E1 is equal to 2.18 times 1018 112 is equal to 2.18 times 1018 j. The energy of the stationary state for n is equal to 2, will be, E2 is equal to 2.18 times 1018 j, 122, is equal to 0 0.545 times 1018 j fig. 2.11 depicts the energies of different stationary states or energy levels of hydrogen atom. This representation is called an energy level diagram. When the electron is free from the influence of nucleus, the energy is taken as zero. The electron in this situation is associated with the stationary state of principal quantum number is equal to n is equal to and is called as ionized hydrogen atom. When the electron is attracted by the nucleus and is present in orbit n, the energy is emitted what does the negative electronic energy, N, for hydrogen atom mean. The energy of the electron in a hydrogen atom has a negative sign for all possible orbits, A2.13. What does this negative sign convey? This negative sign means that the energy of the electron in the atom is lower than the energy of a free electron at rest. A free electron at rest is an electron that is infinitely far away from the nucleus and is assigned the energy value of zero. Mathematically, this corresponds to setting n equal to infinity in the equation, 2.13, so that e is equal to zero. As the electron gets closer to the nucleus, as n decreases, n becomes larger in absolute value and more and more negative. The most negative energy value is given by n is equal to 1 which corresponds to the most stable orbit. We call this the ground state. Niels Bohr, 1885192, Niels Bohr, a Danish physicist received his PhD from the University of Copenhagen in 1911. He then spent a year with J.J. Thomson and Ernest Rutherford in England. In 1913, he returned to Copenhagen where he remained for the rest of his life. In 1920 he was named director of the Institute of Theoretical Physics. After First World War, Bohr worked energetically for peaceful uses of atomic energy. He received the first Atoms for Peace Award in 1957.
Bohr was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1922, 2019-20. Forty eight chemistry and its energy is lowered. That is the reason for the presence of negative sign in equation two point one three and depicts its stability relative to the reference state of zero energy and n is equal to D. Bohr's theory can also be applied to the ions containing only one electron, similar to that present in hydrogen atom. For example, He plus Li two plus B3 plus and so on. The energies of the stationary states associated with these kinds of ions, also known as hydrogen-like species, are given by the expression. EZNNJ is equal to times 2 18th October 2018 to 2, 2.14, and ready by the expression RPMN is equal to 5292. NZ, 2.15 where Z is the atomic number and has values 2, 3 for the helium and lithium atoms respectively. From the above equations, it is evident that the value of energy becomes more negative and that of radius becomes smaller with increase of Z. This means that electron will be tightly bound to the nucleus. E. It is also possible to calculate the velocities of electrons moving in these orbits. Although the precise equation is not given here, qualitatively the magnitude of velocity of electron increases with increase of positive charge on the nucleus and decreases with increase of principal quantum number. 2nd April 2001 Explanation of line spectrum of hydrogen line spectrum observed in case of hydrogen atom, as mentioned in section 2nd March 2003, can be explained quantitatively using Bohr's model. According to assumption 2, radiation, energy, is absorbed if the electron moves from the orbit of smaller principal quantum number to the orbit of higher principal quantum number, whereas the radiation, energy, is emitted if the electron moves from higher orbit to lower orbit. The energy gap between the two orbits is given by equation, 2.16, E is equal to EFA, 2.16, combining equations, 2.13 and 2.16 ENN is equal to RRHFHI22, where NI and NF stand for initial orbit and final orbits. E is equal to is equal to times RJHFIF112810 November 1922 18 to 2 NNN 2.17 the frequency nu associated with the absorption and emission of the photon can be evaluated by using equation 2.18 nu is equal to is equal to ehhnnrh if 1122 is equal to times times 2 18 10 6 6 2 6 1 0 1 1 1 8 34 22 jj's if nn 2.18 is equal to times 3 29th October 11 15 22. NN if hertz, 2.19, and in terms of wave numbers, new new is equal to is equal to CRCHHNN 11 22 if, 2.20, is equal to 3 29 10th March 2010 1115 1822. Times times SMS S if NN is equal to 10967710171721. Times NN if M, 2.21, in case of absorption spectrum, NF, NI and the term in the parenthesis is positive and energy is absorbed. On the other hand in case of emission spectrum NI, NF, E is negative and energy is released. The expression, 2.17, is similar to that used by Rydberg, 2.9, derived empirically using the experimental data available at that time. Further, each spectral line, 
whether in absorption or emission spectrum, can be associated to the particular transition in hydrogen atom. In case of large number of hydrogen atoms, different possible transitions can be observed and thus leading to large number of spectral lines. The brightness or intensity of spectral lines depends upon the number of photons of same wavelength or frequency absorbed or emitted. 2019 to 20. Forty-nine structure of atom problem 2.10 What are the frequency and wavelength of a photon emitted during a transition from N is equal to 5 state to the N is equal to 2 state in the hydrogen atom? Solution since Ni is equal to 5 and Nf is equal to 2. This transition gives rise to a spectral line in the visible region of the Bama series. From equation 2.17 E is equal to is equal to 2 18 10 1 5 1 2nd April 1958 10 18 20 2 19 times times JJ it is an emission energy the frequency of the photon taking energy in terms of magnitude is given by new is equal to EH is equal to 6.91 by 1014 Hertz problem 2.11 calculate the energy associated with the first orbit of He plus. What is the radius of this orbit? Solution EZN and J is equal to times 2 18 10 182 2 atom 1 for He plus N is equal to 1. Z is equal to 2 E 1 18 2 2 182 18 10 2 1st August 1972 10 is equal to times is equal to times. JJ the radius of the orbit is given by equation 2.15 RNM NNZ is equal to 005292 since N is equal to 1 and Z is equal to 2 RNM NMN is equal to is equal to 00529120026452 2nd April 2002 Limitations of Bohr's model Bohr's model of the hydrogen atom was no doubt an improvement over Rutherford's nuclear model, as it could account for the stability and line spectra of hydrogen atom and hydrogen-like ions, for example, He+, plus, Li2+, plus, B3+, plus, and so on. However, Bohr's model was too simple to account for the following points. I. It fails to account for the finer details, doublet, that is two closely spaced lines, of the hydrogen atom spectrum observed by using sophisticated spectroscopic techniques. This model is also unable to explain the spectrum of atoms other than hydrogen, for example, helium atom which possesses only two electrons. Further, Bohr's theory was also unable to explain the splitting of spectral lines in the presence of magnetic field, Zeeman effect, or an electric field, Stark effect. 2. It could not explain the ability of atoms to form molecules by chemical bonds. In other words, taking into account the points mentioned above, one needs a better theory which can explain the salient features of the structure of complex atoms. 2.5 Towards quantum mechanical model of the atom In view of the shortcoming of the Bohr's model, attempts were made to develop a more suitable and general model for atoms. Two important developments which contributed significantly in the formulation of such a model were, one dual behavior of matter, to Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Second May 2001 dual behavior of matter the French physicist, de Broglie, in 1924 proposed that matter, like radiation, should also exhibit dual behavior i.e., both particle and wave-like properties. This means that just as the photon has momentum as well as wavelength, Electrons should also have momentum as well as wavelength, de Broglie, from this analogy, gave the following relation between wavelength, lambda, and momentum, p, 
of a material particle. 2019 to 20. Fifty chemistry solution according to De Broglie equation, 2.22, lambda is equal to is equal to times h m v j s k g m s, 6 626 10 0 1st October 1934 1 is equal to 6.626 times 1034 m, j is equal to kg m2 s2. Problem 2.13 The mass of an electron is 9.1 times 1031 kg. If its Ke is 3.0 times 1025 j, calculate its wavelength. Solution since Ke is equal to a half mv2 vk kg ms kg is equal to is equal to 2230 January 2010 12 25 22 31 12. M times 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 is equal to 812 m s 1 lambda is equal to is equal to times times h m v j s k g m s 6 626 10 34 9th January 2010 31 812 1 is equal to 8967 times 10 10 m is equal to 896.7 nm problem 2.14 calculate the mass of a photon with wavelength 3.6 a solution lambda is equal to 3.6 a is equal to 3.6 times 10 10 m velocity of photon is equal to velocity of light is equal to 6.135 times 10 29 kg 2nd May 2002 Heisenberg's uncertainty principle Werner Heisenberg a German physicist in 1927 stated uncertainty principle which is the consequence of dual behavior of matter and radiation. It states that it is impossible to determine simultaneously the exact position and exact momentum or velocity of an electron. Mathematically it can be given as in equation 2.23 lambda is equal to is equal to h m h p v 2.22 where m is the mass of the particle v its velocity and p its momentum de broglie's prediction was confirmed experimentally when it was found that an electron beam undergoes diffraction a phenomenon characteristic of waves this fact has been put to use in making an electron microscope, which is based on the wave-like behavior of electrons just as an ordinary microscope utilizes the wave nature of light. An electron microscope is a powerful tool in modern scientific research because it achieves a magnification of about 15 million times. It needs to be noted that according to De Broglie, Every object in motion has a wave character. The wavelengths associated with ordinary objects are so short, because of their large masses, that their wave properties cannot be detected. The wavelengths associated with electrons and other subatomic particles, with very small mass, can however be detected experimentally. Results obtained from the following problems prove these points qualitatively. Problem 2.12 What will be the wavelength of a ball of mass 0.1 kg moving with a velocity of 10 ms1? Louis de Broglie, 1892-1987, Louis de Broglie, a French physicist, studied history as an undergraduate in the early 1910s. His interest turned to science as a result of his assignment to radio communications in World War I. He received his Dr. S.C. from the University of Paris in 1924. He was professor of theoretical physics at the University of Paris from 1932 until his retirement in 1962. He was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1929. 2019 to 20. Fifty one structure of atom, 2.23, where x is the uncertainty in position and px, or vx, 
is the uncertainty in momentum or velocity of the particle. If the position of the electron is known with high degree of accuracy, x is small, then the velocity of the electron will be uncertain, vx is large. On the other hand, if the velocity of the electron is known precisely, vx is small, then the position of the electron will be uncertain, x will be large. Thus, if we carry out some physical measurements on the electron's position or velocity, the outcome will always depict a fuzzy or blur picture. The uncertainty principle can be best understood with the help of an example. Suppose you are asked to measure the thickness of a sheet of paper with an unmarked metre stick. Obviously, the results obtained would be extremely inaccurate and meaningless. In order to obtain any accuracy, you should use an instrument graduated in units smaller than the thickness of a sheet of the paper. Analogously, in order to determine the position of an electron, we must use a meter stick calibrated in units of smaller than the dimensions of electron. Keep in mind that an electron is considered as a point charge and is therefore dimensionless. To observe an electron, we can illuminate it with light or electromagnetic radiation. The light used must have a wavelength smaller than the dimensions of an electron. The high momentum photons of such light pH is equal to lambda would change the energy of electrons by collisions. In this process we, no doubt, would be able to calculate the position of the electron, but we would know very little about the velocity of the electron after the collision. Significance of uncertainty principle One of the important implications of the Heisenberg uncertainty principle is that it rules out existence of definite paths or trajectories of electrons and other similar particles. The trajectory of an object is determined by its location and velocity at various moments. If we know where a body is at a particular instant and if we also know its velocity and the forces acting on it at that instant, we can tell where the body would be sometime later. We, therefore, conclude that the position of an object and its velocity fix its trajectory. Since for a subatomic object such as an electron, it is not possible simultaneously to determine the position and velocity at any given instant to an arbitrary degree of precision, it is not possible to talk of the trajectory of an electron. The effect of Heisenberg uncertainty principle is significant only for motion of microscopic objects and is negligible for that of macroscopic objects. This can be seen from the following examples. If uncertainty principle is applied to an object of mass, say about a milligram, 106 kg, then Werner Heisenberg, 1901-1976, Werner Heisenberg, 1901-1976, received his PhD in physics from the University of Munich in 1923. He then spent a year working with Max Born at Göttingen and three years with Niels Bohr in Copenhagen. He was professor of physics at the University of Leipzig from 1927 to 1941. During World War II, Heisenberg was in charge of German research on the atomic bomb. After the war he was named director of Max Planck Institute for Physics in Göttingen. He was also an accomplished mountain climber. Heisenberg was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1932, 2019-20. 52 Chemistry The value of Vx obtained is extremely small and is insignificant. Therefore, one may say that in dealing with milligram-sized or heavier objects, the associated uncertainties are hardly of any real consequence. In the case of a microscopic object like an electron on the other hand, 
V.X obtained is much larger, and such uncertainties are of real consequence. For example, for an electron whose mass is 9.11 times 1031 kg, according to Heisenberg uncertainty principle it, therefore, means that if one tries to find the exact location of the electron, say to an uncertainty of only 10.8 m, then the uncertainty v in velocity would be which is so large that the classical picture of electrons moving in Bohr's orbits, fixed, cannot hold good. It, therefore, means that the precise statements of the position and momentum of electrons have to be replaced by the statements of probability that the electron has at a given position and momentum. This is what happens in the quantum mechanical model of atom. Is equal to 0 0.579 times 107 ms1, 1j is equal to 1 kg m2s2, is equal to 5.79 times 106 ms1 problem 2.16 a golf ball has a mass of 40 g and a speed of 45 ms. If the speed can be measured within accuracy of 2%, calculate the uncertainty in the position. Solution The uncertainty in the speed is 2%, i.e., using the equation, 2.22, is equal to 1.46 times 1033 m. This is nearly tilde 1018 times smaller than the diameter of a typical atomic nucleus. As mentioned earlier for large particles, the uncertainty principle sets no meaningful limit to the precision of measurements. Reasons for the failure of the Bohr model One can now understand the reasons for the failure of the Bohr model. In Bohr model, an electron is regarded as a charged particle moving in well-defined circular orbits about the nucleus. The wave character of the electron is not considered in Bohr model. Further, an orbit is a clearly defined path and this path can completely be defined only if both the position and the velocity of the electron are known exactly at the same time. This is not possible according to the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Bohr model of the hydrogen atom, therefore, not only ignores dual behavior of matter but also contradicts Heisenberg uncertainty principle. In view of problem 2.15 a microscope using suitable photons is employed to locate an electron in an atom within a distance of 0.1 a. What is the uncertainty involved in the measurement of its velocity? Solution x is equal to or x v is equal to 4 4 h h p m pi pi 2019 to 20. Fifty three structure of atom these inherent weaknesses in the Bohr model. There was no point in extending Bohr model to other atoms. In fact an insight into the structure of the atom was needed which could account for wave-particle duality of matter and be consistent with Heisenberg uncertainty principle. This came with the advent of quantum mechanics. 2.6 Quantum Mechanical Model of Atom Classical Mechanics, based on Newton's laws of motion, successfully describes the motion of all macroscopic objects such as a falling stone orbiting planets etc., which have essentially a particle-like behavior as shown in the previous section. However it fails when applied to microscopic objects like electrons, atoms, molecules etc. This is mainly because of the fact that classical mechanics ignores the concept of dual behavior of matter especially for subatomic particles and the uncertainty principle. The branch of science that takes into account this dual behavior of matter is called quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics is a theoretical science that deals with the study of the motions of the microscopic objects that have both observable wave-like and particle-like properties. It specifies the laws of motion that these objects obey. When quantum mechanics is applied to macroscopic objects, 
for which wave-like properties are insignificant, the results are the same as those from the classical mechanics. Quantum mechanics was developed independently in 1926 by Werner Heisenberg and Erwin Schrödinger. Here, however, we shall be discussing the quantum mechanics which is based on the ideas of wave motion. The fundamental equation of quantum mechanics was developed by Schrödinger and it won him the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1933. This equation which incorporates wave-particle duality of matter as proposed by de Broglie is quite complex and knowledge of higher mathematics is needed to solve it. You will learn its solutions for different systems in higher classes. For a system, such as an atom or a molecule whose energy does not change with time, the Schrödinger equation is written as where is a mathematical operator called Hamiltonian. Schrödinger gave a recipe of constructing this operator from the expression for the total energy of the system. The total energy of the system takes into account the kinetic energies of all the subatomic particles, electrons, nuclei, attractive potential between the electrons and nuclei and repulsive potential among the electrons and nuclei individually. Solution of this equation gives E and psi. Hydrogen atom and the Schrödinger equation When Schrödinger equation is solved for hydrogen atom, the solution gives the possible energy levels the electron can occupy and the corresponding wave function, S, psi of the electron associated with each energy level. These quantized energy states and corresponding wave functions which are characterized by a set of three quantum numbers, principal quantum number N, azimuthal quantum number L and magnetic quantum number ML, arise as a natural consequence in the solution of the Schrödinger equation. When an electron is in Erwin Schrödinger, 1887-1961, Erwin Schrödinger, an Austrian physicist received his PhD in theoretical physics from the University of Vienna in 1910. In 1927 Schrödinger succeeded Max Planck at the University of Berlin at Planck's request. In 1933, Schrödinger left Berlin because of his opposition to Hitler and Nazi policies and returned to Austria in 1936. After the invasion of Austria by Germany, Schrödinger was forcibly removed from his professorship. He then moved to Dublin, Ireland where he remained for 17 years. Schrödinger shared the Nobel Prize for Physics with P. M. Dirac in 1933. 2019 to 20. Fifty four chemistry any energy state, the wave function corresponding to that energy state contains all information about the electron. The wave function is a mathematical function whose value depends upon the coordinates of the electron in the atom and does not carry any physical meaning. Such wave functions of hydrogen or hydrogen-like species with one electron are called atomic orbitals. Such wave functions pertaining to one electron species are called one electron systems. The probability of finding an electron at a point within an atom is proportional to the vertical bar psi vertical bar 2 at that point. The quantum mechanical results of the hydrogen atom successfully predict all aspects of the hydrogen atom spectrum including some phenomena that could not be explained by the Bohr model. Application of Schrödinger equation to multi-electron atoms presents a difficulty. The Schrödinger equation cannot be solved exactly for a multi-electron atom. This difficulty can be overcome by using approximate methods. Such calculations with the aid of modern computers show that orbitals in atoms are the norms. The following are the important features of the quantum mechanical model of atom. 1. The energy of electrons in atoms is quantized, i.e., can only have certain specific values. 
for example when electrons are bound to the nucleus in atoms. To the existence of quantized electronic energy levels is a direct result of the wave-like properties of electrons and are allowed solutions of Schrödinger wave equation. 3. Both the exact position and exact velocity of an electron in an atom cannot be determined simultaneously, Heisenberg uncertainty principle. The path of an electron in an atom therefore, can never be determined or known accurately. That is why, as you shall see later on, one talks of only probability of finding the electron at different points in an atom. For an atomic orbital is the wave function psi 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 for an electron in an atom. Whenever an electron is described by a wave function, we say that the electron occupies that orbital. Since many such wave functions are possible for an electron, there are many atomic orbitals in an atom. These, one electron orbital wave functions, or orbitals form the basis of the electronic structure of atoms. In each orbital, the electron has a definite energy. An orbital cannot contain more than two electrons. In a multi-electron atom, the electrons are filled in various orbitals in the order of increasing energy. For each electron of a multi-electron atom, there shall, therefore, be an orbital wave function characteristic of the orbital it occupies. All the information about the electron in an atom is stored in its orbital wave function psi and quantum mechanics makes it possible to extract this information out of psi. 5. The probability of finding an electron at a point within an atom is proportional to the square of the orbital wave function i.e. vertical bar psi vertical bar 2 at that point. Vertical bar psi vertical bar 2 is known as probability density and is always positive. From the value of vertical bar psi 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 vertical bar 2 at different points within an atom, it is possible to predict the region around the nucleus where electron will most probably be found. 2nd June 2001 Orbitals and quantum numbers A large number of orbitals are possible in an atom. Qualitatively these orbitals can be 2019 to 20. Fifty-five structure of atom distinguished by their size, shape and orientation. An orbital of smaller size means there is more chance of finding the electron near the nucleus. Similarly shape and orientation mean that there is more probability of finding the electron along certain directions than along others. Atomic orbitals are precisely distinguished by what are known as quantum numbers. Each orbital is designated by three quantum numbers labeled as n, l and ml. The principal quantum number, n, is a positive integer with value of n is equal to 1 to 3. The principal quantum number determines the size and to large extent the energy of the orbital. For hydrogen atom and hydrogen-like species, he plus, li2 plus, etc., Energy and size of the orbital depends only on n. The principal quantum number also identifies the shell. With the increase in the value of n, the number of al orbital increases and are given by n2. All the orbitals of a value of n constitute a single shell of atom and are represented by the following letters n is equal to 3, 4. Shell is equal to KLMN. Size of an orbital increases with increase of principal quantum number, N. In other words the electron will be located away from the nucleus. Since energy is value of N, L can have N values ranging from 0 to N1, that is, for a given value of N, the possible value of L R, L is equal to 0, 1, 2 n1, for example, when n is equal to 1, value of l is only 0.
for n is equal to 2, the possible value of L can be 0 and 1. For n is equal to 3, the possible L values are 0, 1 and 2. Each shell consists of one or more subshells or sublevels. The number of subshells in a principal shell is equal to the value of n for example in the first shell, n is equal to 1, there is only one subshell which corresponds to L is equal to 0. There are two subshells, L is equal to 0, 1, in the second shell, n is equal to 2, 3, L is equal to 0, 1, 2, in third shell, n is equal to 3 and so on. Each subshell is assigned an azimuthal quantum number, L. Subshells corresponding to different values of L are represented by the following symbols. Value for L, 0 12345. Notation for SPDFGH. Subshell table 2.4 shows the permissible values of L for a given principal quantum number and the corresponding subshell notation. Table 2.4 subshell notations magnetic orbital quantum number. ML gives information about the spatial orientation of the orbital with respect to standard set of coordinate axis. For any subshell, defined by L value. 2L plus 1 values of ML are possible and these values are given by ML is equal to L, L1, L2, 0, 1, L2, L1, L thus for L is equal to 0. The only permitted value of ML is equal to 0, 2, 0, plus 1 is equal to 1, 1S orbital. For L is equal to 1, ML can be 1, 0 and plus 1. 2, 1, plus 1 is equal to 3, 3p orbitals. For L is equal to 2, ML is equal to 2, 1, 0, plus 1 and plus 2, 2, 2, plus 1 is equal to 5, 5d orbitals. It should be noted 2019 to 20. Fifty six chemistry that the values of ML are derived from L and that the value of L are derived from N each orbital in an atom, therefore, is defined by a set of values for N, L and ML. An orbital described by the quantum numbers N is equal to 2, L is equal to 1, ML is equal to 0 is an orbital in the P subshell of the second shell. The following chart gives the relation between the subshell and the number of orbitals associated with it. Electron has, besides charge and mass, intrinsic spin angular quantum number. Spin angular momentum of the electron, a vector quantity, can have two orientations relative to the chosen axis. These two orientations are distinguished by the spin quantum numbers ms which can take the values of plus a half. These are called the two spin states of the electron and are normally represented by two arrows, up and spin down. Two electrons that have different ms values to a large extent the energy of the orbital. 2. There are n subshells in the nth shell. L identifies the subshell and determines the shape of the orbital, see section 2nd June 2002. There are, 2 L plus 1, orbitals of each type in a subshell, that is, 1 S orbital, L is equal to 0, 3 P orbitals, L is equal to 1, and 5 D orbitals, L is equal to 2, per subshell. To some extent L also determines the energy of the orbital in a multi-electron atom. 3. ML designates the orientation of the orbital. For a given value of L, ML has 2 L plus 1 values, orbit, orbital and its importance orbit and orbital are not synonymous. An orbit, as proposed by Bohr is a circular path around the nucleus in which an electron moves. 
A precise description of this path of the electron is impossible according to Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Bohr orbits, therefore, have no real meaning and their existence can never be demonstrated experimentally. An atomic orbital, on the other hand, is a quantum mechanical concept and refers to the one electron wave function psi in an atom. It is characterized by three quantum numbers, n, l and ml, and its value depends upon the coordinates of the electron. Psi has, by itself, no physical meaning. It is the square of the wave function i, vertical bar psi vertical bar 2 which has a physical meaning. Vertical bar psi vertical bar 2 at any point in an atom gives the value of probability density at that point. Probability density, vertical bar psi vertical bar 2, is the probability per unit volume and the product of vertical bar psi vertical bar 2 and a small volume, called a volume element, yields the probability of finding the electron in that volume. The reason for specifying a small volume element is that vertical bar psi vertical bar 2 varies from one region to another in space but its value can be assumed to be constant within a small volume element. The total probability of finding the electron in a given volume can then be calculated by the sum of all the products of vertical bar psi vertical bar 2 and the corresponding volume elements. It is thus possible to get the probable distribution of an electron in an orbital. Value of L0 12345 subshell notation SPDFGH number of orbitals 1357911 electron spin S. The three quantum numbers labeling an atomic orbital can be used equally well to define its energy, shape and orientation. But all these quantum numbers are not enough to explain the line spectra observed in the case of multi-electron atoms, that is, some of the lines actually occur in doublets, two lines closely spaced, triplets, three lines, closely spaced, etc. This suggests the presence of a few more energy levels than predicted by the three quantum numbers. In 1925, George Ahlenbeck and Samuel Goethe Smith proposed the presence of the fourth quantum number known as the electron spin quantum number, MS. An electron spins around its own equal to 3, D, N is equal to 3, L is equal to 2 solution NL orbital A, 212 PB, 404 SC, 535 FD. 323 d 2nd june 2002 shapes of atomic orbitals the orbital wave function or psi for an electron in an atom has no physical meaning it is simply a mathematical function of the coordinates of the electron however for different orbitals the plots of corresponding wave functions as a function of r the distance from the nucleus are different fig 2.12, a, gives such plots for 1 s, n is equal to 1, l is equal to 0, and 2 s, n is equal to 2, l is equal to 0, orbitals. According to the German physicist, Max Born, the square of the wave function, i, psi 2, at a point gives the probability density of the electron at that point. The variation as a function of r for 1 s to 2 s orbitals is given in fig 2.12 b here again you may note that the curves for 1 s and 2 s orbitals are different it may be noted that for 1 s orbital the probability density is maximum number of nodes for 2 s orbital is 1 2 for 3 s and so on these probability density variation can be visualized in terms of charge cloud diagrams, fig 2.13, a. In these diagrams, the density fig 2.12 the plots of a, the orbital wave function psi, r, b, 
the variation of probability density psi as a function of distance r of the electron from the nucleus for 1s and 2s orbitals. 2019 to 20. Fifty-eight chemistry of the door. In this representation, a boundary surface or contour is drawn in space for an orbital on which the value of probability density vertical bar psi vertical bar two is constant. In principle, many boundary surfaces may be possible. However, from the nucleus, it is therefore not possible to draw a boundary surface diagram of a rigid size in which the probability of finding the electron is 100%. Boundary surface diagram for a s orbital is actually a sphere centered on the nucleus. In two dimensions, this sphere looks like a circle. It encloses a region in which probability of finding the electron is about 90%. Thus, we see that 1s and 2s orbitals are spherical in shape. In reality, orbitals are spherically symmetric, that is, the probability of finding the electron at a given distance is equal in all the directions are shown in Fig. 2.14 In these diagrams, the nucleus is at the origin. Here, unlike s orbitals, the boundary surface diagrams are not spherical. Instead each p orbital consists of two sections called lobes that are on either side of the plane that passes through the nucleus. The probability density function is zero on the plane where the two lobes touch each other. The size, shape and asterisk if probability density vertical bar psi vertical bar 2 is constant on a given surface. Vertical bar psi vertical bar is also constant over the surface. The boundary surface for vertical bar psi vertical bar 2 and vertical bar psi vertical bar are identical. Fig. 2.14 Boundary surface diagrams of the three 2p orbitals. Fig. 2.13 A. Probability density plots of 1s and 2s atomic orbitals. The density of the dots represents the probability density of finding the electron in that region. b. Boundary surface diagram for 1s and 2s orbitals. 2019-20 59 structure of atom energy of the three orbitals are identical. They differ however in the way the lobes are oriented. Since the lobes may be considered to lie along the x, y or z axis, they are given the designations 2px, 2py, and 2pz. It should be understood, however, that there is no simple relation between the values of ml, 1, 0 and plus 1, and the x, y and z directions. For our purpose, it is sufficient to remember that, because there are three possible values of ml, there are, therefore, three p orbitals whose axes are mutually perpendicular. Like s orbitals, p orbitals increase in size and energy with increase in the principal quantum number and hence the order of the energy and size of various p orbitals is 4p, 3p, 2p. Further, like s orbitals, the probability density functions for p orbital also pass through value 0, besides at 0 and infinite distance, as the distance from the nucleus increases. The number of nodes are given by the n2, that is number of radial node is 1 for 3 p orbital, 2 for 4 p orbital and so on. For l is equal to 2. The orbital is known as d orbital and the minimum value of principal quantum number, n, has to be 3. As the value of l cannot be greater than n1. There are 5 ml values, 2, 1, 0, plus 1 and plus 2, for l is equal to 2 and thus there are 5 d orbitals. The boundary surface diagram of d orbitals are shown in fig. 
2.15 the five d orbitals are designated as dxy dyz dxz dx2 y2 and dz2 the shapes of the first four d orbitals are similar to each other whereas that of the fifth one dz2 is different from others but all five three d orbitals are equivalent in energy the d orbitals for which n is greater than 3 4d 5d also have shapes similar to 3d orbital but differ in energy and size besides the radial nodes i probability density function is zero the probability density functions for the np and nd orbitals are zero at the plane s passing through the nucleus origin for example in case of pz orbital xy plane is a nodal plane in case of dxy orbital there are two nodal planes passing through the origin and bisecting the xy plane containing z axis these are called angular nodes and number of angular nodes are given by l i one angular node for p orbitals two angular nodes for d orbitals and so on the total number of nodes are given by n1 i sum of l angular nodes and n l1 radial nodes second june 2003 energies of orbitals the energy of an electron in a hydrogen atom is determined solely by the principal quantum fig 2.15 boundary surface diagrams of the five 3d orbitals 2019 to 20 60 chemistry number thus the energy of the orbitals in hydrogen atom increases as follows 1s 2s is equal to 2p 3s is equal to 3p is equal to 3d 4s is equal to 4p is equal to 4d is equal to 4f 2.23 and is depicted in fig 2.16 although the shapes of 2s and 2p orbitals are different an electron has the same energy when it is in the 2s orbital as when it is present in 2p orbital the orbitals having the same energy are called degenerate the 1s orbital in a hydrogen atom as said earlier corresponds to the most stable condition and is called the ground state and an electron residing in this orbital is most strongly held by the nucleus an electron in the 2s 2p or higher orbitals in a hydrogen atom is in excited state the energy of an electron in a multi electron atom unlike that of the hydrogen atom depends not only on its principal quantum number shell but also on its azimuthal quantum number subshell that is for a given principal quantum number s p d f all have different energies within a given principal quantum number the energy of orbitals increases in the order s p d f for higher energy levels these differences are sufficiently pronounced and staggering of orbital energy may result e.g. 4s 3d and 6s 5d 4f 6p the main reason for having different energies of the subshells is the mutual repulsion among the electrons in multi electron atoms the only electrical interaction present in hydrogen atom is the attraction between the negatively charged electron and the positively charged nucleus. In multi electron atoms, besides the presence of attraction between the electron and nucleus, there are repulsion terms between every electron and other electrons present in the atom. Thus the stability of an electron in a multi electron atom is because total attractive interactions are more than the repulsive interactions in general the repulsive interaction of the electrons in the outer shell with the electrons in the inner shell are more important on the other hand the attractive interactions of an electron increases with increase of positive charge ze on the nucleus
due to the presence of electrons in the inner shells, the electron in the outer shell will not experience the full positive charge of the nucleus, Z-E. The effect will be lowered due to the partial screening of positive charge on the nucleus by the inner shell electrons. This is known as the shielding of the outer shell electrons from the nucleus by the inner shell electrons, and the net positive charge experienced by the outer electrons is known as effective nuclear charge, ZFE. Despite the shielding of the outer electrons from the nucleus by the inner shell electrons, the attractive force experienced by the outer shell electrons increases with increase of nuclear charge. In other words, the energy of interaction between the nucleus and electron fig 2.16 energy level diagrams for the few electronic shells of a hydrogen atom and b multi-electronic atoms. Note that orbitals for the same value of principal quantum number have the same energies even for different azimuthal quantum number for hydrogen atom. In case of multi-electron atoms, orbitals with same principal quantum number possess different energies for different azimuthal quantum numbers. 2019 to 20. Sixty-one structure of atom, that is orbital energy, decreases, that is more negative, with the increase of atomic number, Z. Both the attractive and repulsive interactions depend upon the shell and shape of the orbital in which the electron is present. For example electrons present in spherical shaped, S orbital shields the outer electrons from the nucleus more effectively as compared to electrons present in p orbital. Similarly electrons present in p orbitals shield the outer electrons from the nucleus more than the electrons present in d orbitals, even though all these orbitals are present in the same shell. Further within a shell, due to spherical shape of S orbital, the S orbital electron spends more time close to the nucleus in comparison to P orbital electron which spends more time in the vicinity of nucleus in comparison to D orbital electron. In other words, for a given shell, principal quantum number, the ZIF experienced by the electron decreases with increase of azimuthal quantum number, L, that is, the s orbital electron will be more tightly bound to the nucleus than p orbital electron which in turn will be better tightly bound than the d orbital electron the energy of electrons in s orbital will be lower more negative than that of p orbital electron which will have less energy than that of d orbital electron and so on since the extent of shielding from the nucleus is different for electrons in different orbitals, it leads to the splitting of energy levels within the same shell, or same principal quantum number, that is, energy of electron in an orbital, as mentioned earlier, depends upon the values of n and l mathematically. The dependence of energies of the orbitals on n and l are quite complicated but one simple rule is that, the lower the value of n plus l, for an orbital, the lower is its energy. If two orbitals have the same value of n plus l, the orbital with lower value of n will have the lower energy. The table 2.5 illustrates the n plus l rule and fig. 2.16 depicts the energy levels of multi-electrons atoms. It may be noted that different subshells of a particular shell have different energies in case of multi-electrons atoms. However, in hydrogen atom, these have the same energy. Lastly it may be mentioned here that energies of the orbitals in the same subshell decrease with increase in the atomic number, Zef. For example, 
energy of 2s orbital of hydrogen atom is greater than that of 2s orbital of lithium and that of lithium is greater than that of sodium and so on that is e2s h e2s li e2s na e2s k second june 2004 filling of orbitals in atom the filling of electrons into the orbitals of different atoms takes place according to the aufbau principle which is based on the pali's exclusion principle the hans rule of maximum multiplicity and the relative energies of the orbitals aufbau principle the word aufbau in german means building up the building up of orbitals means the table 2.5 arrangement of orbitals with increasing energy on the basis of n plus l rule 2019 to 20
63 structure of atom degenerate orbitals. It states, pairing of electrons in the orbitals belonging to the same subshell, P, D or F, does not take place until each orbital belonging to that subshell has got one electron each i. It is singly occupied. Since there are 3 P, 5 D and 7 F orbitals, therefore, the pairing of electrons will start in the P, D and F orbitals with the entry of 4th, 6th and 8th electron, respectively. It has been observed that half-filled and fully-filled degenerate set of orbitals acquire extra stability due to their symmetry, see section, 2nd June 2007. 2nd June 2005 Electronic configuration of atoms The distribution of electrons into orbitals of an atom is called its electronic configuration. If one keeps in mind the basic rules which govern the filling of different atomic orbitals, the electronic configurations of different atoms can be written very easily. The electronic configuration of different atoms can be represented in two ways. For example, I, SAR PBDC. Notation, 2, orbital diagram SPD in the first notation, the subshell is represented by the respective letter symbol and the number of electrons present in the subshell is depicted as the superscript, like A, B, C, etc. The similar subshell represented for different shells is differentiated by writing the principal quantum number before the respective subshell. In the second notation each orbital of the subshell is represented by a box and the electron is represented by an arrow, a positive spin or an arrow, a negative spin. The advantage of second notation over the first is that it represents all the four quantum numbers. The hydrogen atom has only one electron which goes in the orbital with the lowest energy, namely 1s. The electronic configuration of the hydrogen atom is 1s1 meaning that it has one electron in the 1s orbital. The second electron in helium, he, can also occupy the 1s orbital. Its configuration is, therefore, 1s2. As mentioned above, the two electrons differ from each other with opposite spin, as can be seen from the orbital diagram. The third electron of lithium, Li, is not allowed in the 1s orbital because of Pali exclusion principle. It, therefore, takes the next available choice, namely the 2s orbital. The electronic configuration of Li is 1s22s1. The 2s orbital can accommodate one more electron. The configuration of beryllium, B, atom is, therefore, 1s2 2s2, see table 2.6, page 66 for the electronic configurations of elements. In the next six elements, boron, B, 1s2 2s2 2p1, carbon, C, 1s2 2s2 2p2, nitrogen, N, 1s2 2s2 2p3, oxygen, O, 1s2 2s2 2p4, fluorine, F, 1s2 2s2 2p5, and neon, Ne, 1s2 2s2 2p6, the 2p orbitals get progressively filled. This process is completed with the neon atom. The orbital picture of these elements can be represented as follows. The electronic configuration of the elements sodium, Na 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s1, 2 argon, Ar 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6, follow exactly the same pattern as the elements from lithium to neon with the difference that the 3s and 3p orbitals are getting filled now. This process can be simplified if we represent the total number of electrons in the first two shells by the name of element neon, Ne. The electronic configuration 2019 to 20. Sixty-four chemistry of the elements from sodium to argon can be written as Na. 
3s1 2ar ne 3s23 p6 the electrons in the completely filled shells are known as core electrons and the electrons that are added to the electronic shell with the highest principal quantum number are called valence electrons for example the electrons in Na are the core electrons and the electrons from Na to A are the valence electrons. Ashem, K, and calcium, Ca, the 4s orbital, being lower in energy than the 3d orbitals, is occupied by 1 and 2 electrons respectively. A new pattern is followed beginning with scandium, Sc. The 3d orbital, being lower in energy than the 4p orbital, is filled first. Consequently, in the next 10 elements, scandium, sc, titanium, t, vanadium, v, chromium, cr, manganese, mn, iron, fe, cobalt, co, nickel, ni, copper, cu, and zinc, zn, the five 3D orbitals are progressively occupied. We may be puzzled by the fact that chromium and copper have 5 and 10 electrons in 3D orbitals rather than 4 and 9 as their position would have indicated with 2 electrons in the 4S orbital. The reason is that fully filled orbitals and half filled orbitals have extra stability, that is, lower energy. Thus P3, P6, D5, D10, F7, F14 etc. configurations, which are either half-filled or fully filled, are more stable. Chromium and copper therefore adopt the D5 and D10 configuration. Section 2nd June 2007, Caution, Exceptions do exist, with the saturation of the 3D orbitals, the filling of the 4P orbital starts at gallium, GA, and is complete at Krypton, KR. In the next 18 elements from Rubidium, RB, to Xenon, XE, the pattern of filling the 5s 4d and 5p orbitals are similar to that of 4s 3d and 4p orbitals as discussed above. Then comes the turn of the 6s orbital. In Cesium, CAs, and the Barium, BA, this orbital contains 1 and 2 electrons, respectively. Then from lanthanum, La, to mercury, Hg, the filling up of electrons takes place in 4f and 5d orbitals. After this, filling of 6p then 7s and finally 5f and 6d orbitals takes place. The elements after uranium, U, are all short-lived and all of them are produced artificially. The electronic configurations of the known elements, as determined by spectroscopic methods, are tabulated in Table 2.6, page 66. One may ask what is the utility of knowing the electron configuration. The modern approach to the chemistry, in fact, depends almost entirely on electronic distribution to understand and explain chemical behavior. For example, questions like why two or more atoms form molecules, some elements are metals while others are non-metals, why elements like helium and argon are not reactive but elements like the halogens are reactive, find simple explanation from the electronic configuration. These questions have no answer in the Daltonian model of atom. A detailed understanding of the electronic structure of atom is, therefore, very essential getting an insight into the various aspects of modern chemical knowledge. 2nd June 2006 Stability of completely filled and half-filled subshells The ground state electronic configuration of the atom of an element always corresponds to the state of the lowest total electronic energy. The electronic configurations of most of the atoms follow the basic rules given in section 2nd June 2005. However, in certain elements such as Ku, or CR, where the two subshells, 4S and 3D, differ slightly in their energies, 
an electron shifts from a subshell of lower energy, 4s, to a subshell of higher energy, 3d, provided such a shift results in all orbitals of the subshell of higher energy getting either completely filled or half filled. The valence electronic configurations of CR and Q, therefore, are 3d 5 4s 1 and 3d 10 4s 1 respectively and not 3d 4 4s 2 and 3d 9 4s 2. It has been found that there is extra stability associated with these electronic configurations. 2019 to 20. 65 structure of atom the completely filled and completely half filled subshells are stable due to the following reasons 1 dot symmetrical distribution of electrons it is well known that symmetry leads to stability the completely filled or half filled subshells have symmetrical distribution of electrons in them and are therefore more stable electrons in the same subshell here 3d have equal energy but different spatial distribution. Consequently, their shielding of maninotha is relatively small and the electrons are more strongly attracted by the nucleus. To exchange energy, the stabilizing effect arises whenever two or more electrons with the same spin are present in the degenerate orbitals of a subshell. These electrons tend to exchange their positions and the energy released due to this exchange is called exchange energy. The number of exchanges that can take place is maximum when the subshell is either half filled or completely filled, Fig 2.18. As a result the exchange energy is maximum and so is the stability. You may note that the exchange energy is at the basis of Hunt's rule that electrons which enter orbitals of equal energy have parallel spins as far as possible. In other words, the extra stability of half-filled and completely filled subshell is due to i. relatively small shielding, 2. smaller columbic repulsion energy, and 3. larger exchange energy. Details about the exchange energy will be dealt with in higher classes. Fig. 2.18 Possible exchange for E5 configuration causes of stability of completely filled and half-filled subshells 2019-20. Sistry Table 2.6 Electronic configurations of the elements asterisk elements with exceptional electronic configurations 2000 and 19 to 20. 67 structure of atom asterisk asterisk s with atomic number 112 and above have been reported but not yet fully authenticated and named 2019 to 20. Prawns. The discovery of subatomic particles led to the proposal of various atomic models to explain the structure of atom. Thomson in 1898 proposed that an atom consists of uniform sphere of positive electricity with electrons embedded into it. This model in which mass of the atom is considered to be evenly spread over the atom was proved wrong by Rutherford's famous alpha particle scattering experiment in 1909. Rutherford concluded that atom is made of a tiny positively charged nucleus, at its center with electrons revolving around it in circular orbits. Rutherford model, which resembles the solar system, was no doubt an improvement over Thomson model but it could not account for the stability of the atom i.e., why the electron does not fall into the nucleus. Further. It was also silent about the electronic structure of atoms i.e., about the distribution and relative energies of electrons around the nucleus. The difficulties of the Rutherford model were overcome by Niels Bohr in 1913 in his model of the hydrogen atom. Bohr postulated that electron moves around the nucleus in circular orbits. Only certain orbits can exist and each orbit corresponds to a specific energy.
Boha calculated the energy of electron in various orbits and for each orbit predicted the distance between the electron and nucleus. Boha model, though offering a satisfactory model for explaining the spectra of the hydrogen atom, could not explain the spectra of multi-electron atoms. The reason for this was soon discovered. In Boha model, an electron is regarded as a charged particle moving in a well-defined circular orbit about the nucleus. The wave character of the electron is ignored in Bohr's theory. An orbit is a clearly defined path and this path can completely be defined only if both the exact position and the exact velocity of the electron at the same time are known. This is not possible according to the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Bohr model of the hydrogen atom, therefore, not only ignores the dual behavior of electron but also contradicts Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Erwin Schrödinger, in 1926, proposed an equation called Schrödinger equation to describe the electron distributions in space and the allowed energy levels in atoms. This equation incorporates de Broglie's concept of wave-particle duality and is consistent with Heisenberg uncertainty principle. When Schrödinger equation is solved for the electron in a hydrogen atom, the solution gives the possible energy states the electron can occupy, and the corresponding wave function, S, psi, which in fact are mathematical functions, of the electron associated with each energy state. These quantized energy states and corresponding wave functions which are characterized by a set of three quantum numbers, principal quantum number N, azimuthal quantum number L and magnetic quantum number ML, arise as a result consequence in the solution of the Schrödinger equation. The restrictions on the values of these three quantum numbers also come naturally from this solution. The quantum mechanical model of the hydrogen atom successfully predicts all aspects of the hydrogen atom spectrum including some phenomena that could not be explained by the Bohr model. According to the quantum mechanical model of the atom, the electron distribution of an atom containing a number of electrons is divided into shells. The shells, in turn, are thought to consist of one or more subshells and subshells are assumed to be composed of one or more orbitals, which the electrons occupy. While for hydrogen and hydrogen-like systems, such as He+, Li2+, etc., all the orbitals within a given shell have same energy. The energy of the orbitals in a multi-electron atom depends upon the values of N and L, the lower the value of n plus l for an orbital, the lower is its energy. If two orbitals have the same n plus l value, the orbital with lower value of n has the lower energy. In an atom many such orbitals are possible and electrons are filled in those orbitals in order of increasing energy in 2019 to 20. structure of atom accordance with Pauli exclusion principle, no two electrons in an atom can have the same set of four quantum numbers, and Hunt's rule of maximum multiplicity, pairing of electrons in the orbitals belonging to the same subshell does not take place until each orbital belonging to that subshell has got one electron each, i.e., is singly occupied. This forms the basis of the electronic structure of atoms. Exercises 2.1, I, calculate the number of electrons which will together weigh 1 gram. 2, calculate the mass and charge of 1 mole of electrons. 2.2, I, calculate the total number of electrons present in 1 mole of methane. 2, find, A, the total number and, B the total mass of neutrons in 7 mg of 14 c. 
Assume that mass of a neutron is equal to 1.675 times 1027 kg. 3. Find a the total number and b the total mass of protons in 34 mg of NH3 at STP. Will the answer change if the temperature and pressure are changed? 2.3 How many neutrons and protons are there in the following nuclei? 613 COMG Faye Sr. 8 16 December 1924 26 56 38 88 2.4 Write the complete symbol for the atom with the given atomic number, Z, and atomic mass, A, I, Z is equal to 17, A is equal to 35, 2, Z is equal to 92, A is equal to 233. 3. Z is equal to 4. A is equal to 9. 2.5 Yellow light emitted from a sodium lamp has a wavelength, lambda, of 580 nm. Calculate the frequency, nu, and wave number, nu, of the yellow light. 2.6 Find energy of each of the photons which, I, correspond to light of frequency 3 by 1015 Hz. Have wavelength of 0.50 a 2.7. Calculate the wavelength, frequency, and wave number of a light wave whose period is 2.0 times 10 10 s 2.8. What is the number of photons of light with a wavelength of 4000 pm that provide 1 J of energy? 2.9 A photon of wavelength 4 times 10 7 m strikes on metal surface. The work function of the metal being 2.13 eV. Calculate, I, the energy of the photon, eV, 2, the kinetic energy of the emission, and, 3, the velocity of the photoelectron, 1 eV is equal to 1.6020 times 1019 J. 2.10 Electromagnetic radiation of wavelength 242 nm is just sufficient to ionize the sodium atom. Calculate the ionization energy of sodium in kJ mol 1. 2.11 A25 Watt bulb emits monochromatic yellow light of wavelength of 0.57 m. Calculate the rate of emission of quanta per second. 2.12 electrons are emitted with zero velocity from a metal surface with exposed to radiation of wavelength 6800 a calculate threshold frequency new zero work function w0 of the metal 2.13 what is the wavelength of light emitted when the electron in a hydrogen atom undergoes transition from an energy level with n is equal to 4 to an energy level with n is equal to 2 2019 to 2070 Chemistry 2.14 How much energy is required to ionize a H atom if the electron occupies N is equal to 5 orbit? Compare your answer with the ionization enthalpy of H atom. Energy required to remove the electron from N is equal to 1 orbit. 2.15 What is the maximum number of emission lines when the excited electron of a H atom in N is equal to 6 drops to the ground state? 2.16 I The energy associated with the first orbit in the hydrogen atom is 2.18 times 1018 J atom 1. What is the energy associated with the fifth orbit? 2. Calculate the radius of Bohr's fifth orbit for hydrogen atom. 2.17 Calculate the wave number for the longest wavelength transition in the Balmer series of atomic hydrogen. 2.18 What is the energy in joules required to shift the electron of the hydrogen atom from the first Bohr orbit to the fifth Bohr orbit and what is the wavelength of the light emitted when the electron returns to the ground state. The ground state electron energy is 2.18 times 10 11 ergs. 
2.19 the electron energy in hydrogen atom is given by n is equal to 2.181080 n 2j calculate the energy required to remove an electron completely from the n is equal to 2 orbit what is the longest wavelength of light in cm that can be used to cause this transition 2.20 Calculate the wavelength of an electron moving with a velocity of 2.05 times 107 ms1. 2.21 The mass of an electron is 9.1 times 1031 kg. If its Ke is 3.0 times 1025 j, calculate its wavelength. 2 2 Which of the following are isoelectronic species i.e. Those having the same number of electrons. Na plus, K plus, Mg2 plus, Ca2 plus, S2, Ar. 2.23, I, write the electronic configurations of the following ions, A, H, B, Na plus, C, O2, D, F, 2. What are the atomic numbers of elements whose outermost electrons are represented by a 3s1, b 2p3 and c 3p5? 3. Which atoms are indicated by the following configurations? a he 2s b ne 3s2 3p3 c ar 4s2 3d1. 2.24 What is the lowest value of n that allows g orbitals to exist? 2.25 An electron is in one of the 3d orbitals. Give the possible values of n, l and ml for this electron. 2.26 An atom of an element contains 29 electrons and 35 neutrons. Deduce, i, the number of protons and, 2, the electronic configuration of the element. 2.27 Give the number of electrons bittle with the following quantum numbers. A. N is equal to 1. L is equal to 0. B. N is equal to 3. L is equal to 1. C. N is equal to 4. L is equal to 2. D. N is equal to 4. L is equal to 3. 2.30 Explain. Giving reasons, which of the following sets of quantum numbers are not possible? A. N is equal to 0. L is equal to 0. ML is equal to 0. MS is equal to plus a half. B. N is equal to 1. L is equal to 0. ML is equal to 0. MS is equal to a half. C. N is equal to 1. L is equal to 1. ML is equal to 0. MS is equal to plus a half, D, N is equal to 2, L is equal to 1, ML is equal to 0, MS is equal to a half 2019 to 20. Seventy one structure of atom, E, N is equal to 3, L is equal to 3, ML is equal to 3. MS is equal to plus a half, F, N is equal to 3, L is equal to 1, ML is equal to 0, MS is equal to plus a half 2.31 How many electrons in an atom may have the following quantum numbers? A, N is equal to 4, MS is equal to a half, B, N is equal to 3. L is equal to 0 2.32 show that the circumference of the Bohr orbit for the hydrogen atom is an integral multiple of the de Broglie wavelength associated with the electron revolving around the orbit. 2.33 Watt transition in the hydrogen spectrum would have the same wavelength as the Balmer transition n is equal to 4 to n is equal to 2 of He plus spectrum. 2.34 Calculate the energy required for the process He plus, G, He 2 plus, G, plus E. The ionization energy for the H atom in the ground state is 2.18 times 1018 J atom 1 2.35 If the diameter of a carbon atom is 0.15 nm, 
Calculate the number of carbon atoms which can be placed side by side in a straight line across length of scale of length 20 cm long. 2.362 times 108 atoms of carbon are arranged side by side. Calculate the radius of carbon atom if the length of this arrangement is 2.4 cm. 2.37 The diameter of zinc atom is 2.6 A. Dot calculate A. Radius of zinc atom in pm and B. Number of atoms present in a length of 1.6 cm if the zinc atoms are arranged side by side lengthwise. 2.38 A certain particle carries 2.5 times 1016 C of static electric charge. Calculate the number of electrons present in it. 2.39 In Millikan's experiment, static electric charge on the oil drops has been obtained by shining X-rays. If the static electric charge on the oil drop is 1.282 1018, calculate the number of electrons present on it. 2.40 In Rutherford's experiment, Generally the thin foil of heavy atoms, like gold, platinum etc. have been used to be bombarded by the alpha particles. If the thin foil of light atoms like aluminium etc. is used, what difference would be observed from the above results? 2.41 symbols 35, 79 br and 79 br can be written. Whereas symbols 7935BR and 35BR are not acceptable. Answer briefly. 2.42 An element with mass number 81 contains 31.7% more neutrons added to protons. Assign the atomic symbol. 2.43 An ion with mass number 37 possesses one unit of negative charge. If the ion contains 11.1% more neutrons than the electrons, find the symbol of the ion. 2.44 An ion with mass number 56 contains 3 units of positive charge and 30.4% more neutrons than electrons. Assign the symbol to this ion. 2.45 Arrange the following type of radiations in increasing order of frequency. A radiation from microwave oven b umber light from traffic signal c radiation from fm radio d cosmic rays from outer space and e x rays 2.46 nitrogen laser produces radiation at a wavelength of 337.1 nm the number of photons emitted is 5.6 times 1024 Calculate the power of this laser. 2.47 Neon gas is generally used in the sign boards. If it emits strongly at 616 nm, calculate a, the frequency of emission, b, distance traveled by this radiation in 30 s, c, energy of quantum and d, number of quanta present if it produces 2 j of energy. 2000 to 20. Seventy two chemistry two point four eight in astronomical observations, signals observed from the distant stars are generally weak. If the photon detector receives a total of three point one five times ten eighteen J from the radiations of six hundred NM. Calculate the number of photons received by the detector. 2.4 Lifetimes of the molecules in the excited states are often measured by using pulsed radiation source duration nearly in the nanosecond range. If the radiation source has the duration of 2 ns and the number of photons emitted during the pulse source is 2.5 times 1015, Calculate the energy of the source. 2.50 The longest wavelength doublet absorption transition is observed at 589 and 589.6 nm. Calculate the frequency of each transition and energy difference between two excited states. 
2.51 the friction for cesium atom is 1.9 ev calculate a the threshold wavelength and b the threshold frequency of the radiation a cesium element is irradiated with a wavelength 500 nm calculate the kinetic energy and the velocity of the ejected photoelectron 2.52 following results are observed when sodium metal is irradiated with different wavelengths. Calculate a threshold wavelength and b Planck's constant. Lambda nm 500 400 and 50 400 v times 10 5 cms 1 2.554.355.352.53 The ejection of the photoelectron from the silver metal in the photoelectric effect experiment can be stopped by applying the voltage of 0.35 V when the radiation 256.7 Nm is used. Calculate the work function for silver metal. 2.54 If the photon of the wavelength 150 pm strikes an atom and one of its inner bound electrons is ejected out with a velocity of 1.5 times 107 ms1, calculate the energy with which it is bound to the nucleus. 2.55 Emission transitions in the Pushchin series end at orbit n is equal to 3 and start from orbit n and can be represented as v is equal to 3.29 times 1015 Hz 132 1 n 2. Calculate the value of n if the transition is observed at 1285 nm. Find the region of the spectrum. 2.56 Calculate the wavelength for the emission transition if it starts from the orbit having radius 1.3225 nm and ends at 211.6 pm. Name the series to which this transition belongs and the region of the spectrum. 2.57 Dual behavior of matter proposed by de Broglie led to the discovery of electron microscope often used for the highly magnified images of biological molecules and other type of material. If the velocity of the electron in this microscope is 1.6 times 106 ms1, calculate de Broglie wavelength associated with this electron. 2.58 Similar to electron diffraction, neutron diffraction microscope is also used for the determination of the structure of molecules. If the wavelength used here is 800 pm, calculate the characteristic velocity associated with the neutron. 2.59 If the velocity of the electron in Bohr's first orbit is 2.19 times 106 ms1, Calculate the de Broglie wavelength associated with it. 2.60 The velocity associated with a proton moving in a potential difference of 1000 V is 4.37 times 105 ms1. If the hockey ball of mass 0.1 kg is moving with this velocity, L is equal to 2, ML is equal to 2, MS is equal to 1 to 2, N is equal to 3. L is equal to 2, ML is equal to 1, MS is equal to plus a half 2019 to 20. 73 Structure of Atom 3. N is equal to 4, L is equal to 1, ML is equal to 0, MS is equal to plus a half 4. N is equal to 3, L is equal to 2, ML is equal to 2. MS is equal to 1 to 5. N is equal to 3. L is equal to 1. ML is equal to 1. MS is equal to plus a half 6. N is equal to 4. L is equal to 1. ML is equal to 0. MS is equal to plus a half 2.63. The bromine atom possesses 35 electrons. It contains 6 electrons in 2p orbital. 6 electrons in 3p orbital and 5 electron in 4p orbital. Which of these electron experiences the lowest effective nuclear charge? 
2.64 among the following pairs of orbitals which orbital will experience the larger effective nuclear charge i 2s and 3s 2 4d and 4f 3 3d and 3b 2.65 the unpaired electrons in l and psi are present in 3p orbital which electrons will experience more effective nuclear charge players 2.66 indicate the number of unpaired electrons in a b b psi c cr d fe and e kr 2.67 a how many subshells are associated with n is equal to 4 b how many electrons will be present in the subshells having ms value of 1 2 for n is equal to 4 2019 to 20